Can you hear me now? You know how much better a mic works if you plug it in? It works way better. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Take two. We'll do the clapper. <laughs> All right, y'all. Happy Monday. I'm Bev McCullough of Flamingo Toast, and I sometimes forget to plug in my mic. Let's just be... <laughs> Let's be honest here. All right, you guys, I'm so excited. We are on our last week of the sew along and uh, we are uh, putting our quilts together. We've been making this spooky lane quilt and it's been really fun. We've sewed through a row each week and uh, it's just been a blast to see all your blocks and I can't wait to see your quilts and we are getting ready to head into October, which is the perfect time to display this cute quilt. So it's gonna be really fun to see all your cute versions. <laughs> and I'm glad we have sound now. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> all right, you guys, sorry. You know, you can't remember everything. <laughs> so let's see who's here. Let's stop talking about me. <laughs> all right, we have Jeanette and Norma and Leona, uh, Ramona, hello, ladies. Therese is here. I know, Teresa says it's hard to believe it's almost over. I know, it feels like it's gone fast, right? but it's been two months, so it's just been fun. <laughs> Judy's here, Pamela's here, uh, Dolores, Trisha, Melissa's here. She says, happy first Monday of the fall season, everyone. Yay, fall. I'm totally there with you, Melissa. Yay, fall is right. It's a little bit warm here still, like, and by warm, I mean, you know, like low 80s, but doesn't feel fallish yet. I'm not wearing sweaters. Let's put it that way. For me, I need to be in sweaters <laughs> to really feel like I'm getting the full fall experience. So yay for sweater season when it gets here. <laughs> Val's here. Oh, Pamela says she's got a bit of a sore throat. Sorry, Pamela, that's no fun. Um, Val's here. Hey, Val. And she said she was swimming yesterday. Well, that sounds very fun. Katerina's here. Oh, all right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad <laughs> sounds back. Cindy's here. Oh, Cindy, happy birthday. Oh my gosh, you asked for a family for an hour on your birthday so you could join us. Cindy, you're the best. Everybody tell Cindy happy birthday. Yay, Cindy. <laughs> oh, you guys are already there. You're the best group in the world. Hey, Roxy. Hey, Jackie. Okay, so in a little bit, when we get to the actual like video um, points, I'm going to give you some tips about sewing these rows together and overall quilt assembly. But first, let's talk about the fun things that have been going on in the blog. You know that I have been sewing along with Fat Quarter Shop's Simply Jelly Rolls Sew Along. They have a really great book. Um, here's what the book looks like. Oops, glare. Sorry, it's called Simply Jelly Rolls and it's got how many quilts? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I did this before. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 quilts that are all perfect for two and a half inch strips. So they are doing a really fun sew along where they're taking several blocks from different quilts in the book and they're putting them together in a sampler. So you do have to purchase the book to sew along, but then each week they're releasing what block they're doing for the week and they're releasing the cutting guide for those particular, you know, sometimes you're gonna only make two, sometimes you're making four, it just depends. But they all look really pretty together in the sampler. And it's not a mystery, 
If you click the link in today's video description, you can definitely check out the image of the sampler quilt and they've mocked it up in four different colors so you can get a feel for what it looks like in different fabrics which is always really really helpful so i got on in my grubby little hands when i was at um riley blake a couple weeks ago for garden of quilts they have just gotten in their early pre pre-cuts like they get a few pre-cuts in before the whole collection arrives so i snagged a roly-poly of afternoon tea which is my collection that's coming out next month you guys i'm very excited about that so i'm sewing along with afternoon tea so i was hoping it would get you guys excited for when afternoon tea comes out this next month so here are my blocks these are the blocks from friday the blocks are all being released and posted on friday so oh let's look at these down here because the colors on that front camera are sometimes a little funky Look, you can really see this cute print. There is a rose print in the collection that looks like it's cross-stitched. Isn't that fun? So I used that, and oh, the other thing is I'm really proud of this little print, and it looks like just a little trellis, right? But look, it's kind of made up of tiny, it's not kind of, it's made up of tiny spoons. How cute is that, you guys? It was really fun to make. Um, so this is one flower and there's three of these blocks. Here's another flower. This is a fun gingham and it's got like a little stitched line running through it. And then this is another one of the prints in afternoon tea and it's just a really tiny little floral with bows. This one's kind of red and pink. And then this one has another one of those spoon prints but in more like blues. I've got threads here. And then this is the tea labels print. And so it's got really soft uh, different tea labels that are all different directions. So it's multi-directional and uh, it's really a fun print. And it looks, and I even did a little bit of fussy cutting for that middle of that flower. So I made three of these. You can see them all together for the quilt. And then the, um, this is only the second week. So you can definitely still pick up the book and get the cutting it doesn't take very long to make and oh i almost knocked my drink over that would have been a lovely little mistake <laughs> i'm all for clumped because i forgot my mic um so it, it's really easy to join in still i have you linked in the video description to a page that on fat quarter shop where you can get the book and also where they have the downloads so you know how much to cut so you have to have both things to sew along on the sampler and then I will be sharing on Fridays my versions of the blocks each week. And I believe the sew along goes through the end of October. So not too crazy. Um, and it's just gonna be like a fun, relaxing sew along. So that is the sew along I'm joining in with. And I'm also, I'll give you a hint that, I don't know if you've seen Lori Holt's Quilted Witch pattern. It's a quilt pattern and it's also a cross stitch pattern. And Fat Quarter Shop is doing a sew along with the quilt and a stitch along with the uh, cross stitch. And you guys, this pattern, I mean, look, Lori's amazing, right? But this pattern is so, so cute. Oh my goodness. I had to join in, even though it's a very long sew along. And <laughs> I just, I almost like that because then it's like, okay, I have a little bit to do on this huge quilt every week and it's not super overwhelming. So I'm going to join in with that. The quilt along isn't going to start until later in October and I'm going to use Dainty Daisy for it. So I have a whole bunch of new colors coming in December. I'm hoping I get some of them in early. Um, if not, I will make up blocks with the colors that I have now and then potentially maybe remake some blocks when they come around. So uh, that's my goal and I'm, I'm very excited. And I believe there will be kits at Back Quarter Shop if you wanna check that out. You can click the link in for the Simply Jelly Rolls and that'll take you to Fat Quarter Shop and then you could search Quilted Witch in there and it, you'll be able to see the pattern. It's so cute, you guys. It's gonna be really fun. So that one will take us a year because it's a, a big quilt and we're not like making tons uh, at once. So we'll have those ready to show off for next year. So I love that. It's fun. It's slow. <laughs> Rebecca says she loves the quilt. Do you guys need this quilt? We're going to talk about that next. I'm very excited. Okay. 
Um, and Cindy says she bought the book and have additional Sweet Acres fabric and she's going to make the baklava quilt. Yay, Cindy! All right, very fun. And everybody's saying happy birthday to Cindy. <laughs> and Sherry said she got her jelly roll the other day and she'll be starting the sew along when this one's finished. Perfect, Sherry. Um, oh, you guys like afternoon tea. Thank you so much. Yay! Um, as Sherry says, she inadvertently called this the haunted adventure quote last week. Sherry, stop. It's haunted adventure fabric. <laughs> Katerina, I hope you can find it in Germany too. Yay. Oh, hey, Roxanne. I'm glad you're here. Oh, and Sherry says the quilted witch kits are sold out. Okay, good to know, Sherry. Um, I appreciate that update. You could definitely sew along with, I don't know, Dainty Daisy if you want. <laughs> Though it's not going to be in stores till December, so there's a little bit of fudging that would happen there with the timelines. So let's talk about giveaways. Do you guys want to do giveaways before we talk about all the things? Okay, no, let's talk about other things first. Sorry, I'm, I'm scattering. I love these last weeks of our sew along because I don't sew anything, and I'm just here to really give you guys tips on finishing, but also hang out with you. And I love hanging out with you all. You're so much fun. Okay, I want to talk to you about my friend Amanda, Amanda Niederhauser, Jedi Craft Girl. You guys know her. She's the best. Um, and I want to tell you guys about her brand new book. It's been out for a couple weeks, and it's called More Playful Pre-Cut Quilts. So she had a book about, what is it, two years ago? A year ago? Called Playful Pre-Cut Quilts. And it did um, hugely well. And so now they've come to her and asked her to write a second book. And you guys are going to love these quilts. They're all designed with 12 and a half inch unfinished blocks. And, excuse me, they all use pre-cuts. So she, you can mix and match if you like the layout of one quilt, but the blocks in another, change it up a little bit. Or if you have her first book, Playful Pre-Cut Quilts, you can do the same thing. You can use blocks from that in this quilt, these quilts, or vice versa. And at the back of the book, she gives you some alternative layouts. So she has the quilts throughout the book, but then at the end, she has like a really cute pillow. She has a runner, some different, um, different alternatives for using the book. So I want to show you a few of these quilts. And I want to show you she used some of my fabrics in the different quilts, so I definitely want to show you these. And the cover quilt, is called Summer Meadow, and that is the quilt that I made over here, but I made it up in Enchanted Meadow. No, I didn't make it. She made it in Enchanted Meadow. I made it in Haunted Adventure. So here's what it looks like. It's got these great, like, flower-looking blocks, but I think they look like um, mums. It's a really big quilt. I'm so excited about it. It's, it was so fun. To like plan out the different fabrics I used kind of blacks for the stars and then I used black for this really clever border that she's got between all the blocks I just love this kind of almost framed look to the block so there it is in Haunted Adventure and you can also see it if I change cameras on this front cover so isn't it really cute so let me show you some of the other quilts in the book so she's got this beautiful sunflower garden. Look how pretty that is. This would be a really fun one to make with fall um, colors too. So I love that one. Then this one is super cute. It's called Mod Diamonds. And I love these cute diamonds. This looks like a really fast block to sew up. And it would be a really fun one for fussy cutting. Look how sweet those, those blocks are. She used her Mod uh, Meow fabric for that. Um, so then this one is Daisy Fields fabric. If you guys remember Daisy Fields, it came out last year. It is one of my favorite collections I made and it's all blues and greens and yellows and she paired that with linen fabric. So look at how pretty this is. So it's just this gorgeous pinwheel that she put against the linen background and just look how pretty those blocks look. Isn't that stunning? I love it. Um, this one is, I'm definitely making, it's called Strawberry Farm. Look at how sweet these strawberries are. This one uses two and a half inch strips, but you could cut your own fabric too. I love that. Um, and then here is the Summer Meadow. This is the quilt that I made. 
Look how cute this is. Look how gorgeous this is, you guys. Isn't that pretty? That would be really fun in Sweet Acres, too. Um, this one, I just, I'm a sucker for a scrappy. So this one's called Happy Scrappy. Look how sweet this one is. Isn't that great? This one uses um, two and a half inch strips. It uses one and a half rolls. So I love that. And she put this, it's a little bit hard to tell in the photo, but this is a pale pink background. So she's got all this colorful fabric against a pale pink background. Mm. So, so good. This one's called Flower Crossing. Just a really fun way to show off a fabric collection that you love. Isn't that beautiful? And look at this photography, you guys. Oh, this, the quilts in this book are stunning. This one's called Sweater Weather, and I love this one. This one's also great for fall. Isn't that pretty with those plaids? Really, really cute. Oh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Ramona says she loves the flower quilt, and Trisha says she likes the strawberry farm quilt. Me too. Okay, Pamela, you're right. The book is loaded. Look at this one. It's called Woodland Christmas. Look at that quilt, you guys with the farmhouse vibe on it, and then these great trees with stars in them. I love that. Um, this one is another favorite. It's called Liberty Stars, and she put these this Liberty print on like a chambray background. Isn't that fun? You could also use like Dainty Daisy and denim for that background. That would be beautiful with the Liberty fabric. Here's a close-up. Isn't that pretty? You can really see the quilting on that. Hey, Cynthia. This one's called Modern Farmhouse. I saw this one in person at Garden of Quilts this last week, and it was beautiful. It's just really simple neutrals and these great star blocks. It looks so beautiful. Um, and then, of course, Amanda, we have to have a kitty quilt. This one's called Nine Lives. So, so cute. <laughs> Teresa loves the Christmas one. Yay. And then here's some of the other projects. So this is actually Stardust fabric from a couple years ago, but she shows how to use the blocks. These are 12 inch blocks in a runner. And then she's got a very cute nine square quilt, and which is perfect for a baby. And then look at this cute pillow. So she's taken one of the blocks in the book and then she added this fun border and um, makes the pillow version. And then of course, all she's got great instructions for finishing the quilt and all of that. So definitely, I've got the, the link in today's video description for Playful Pre-Cut Quilts. I would love for you to check it out um, and pick it up. She would love that too. You can buy it from Amazon, my link, or if you visit Jedi Craft Girl, I believe she has her books in her shop. So. Um, visit Amanda, her shop's on Etsy. So you could just go to her blog, jedicraftgirl.com, or you could search Jedi Craft Girl on Etsy if you want. Either way. Yeah, it's so fun. Pamela says her granddaughter would love the kitty quilt. It's so cute, right? I love it. Okay, so let's talk about giveaways before we talk about our quilt. Last week, we had a really fun giveaway, and it was for a copy of Simply Jelly Rolls. Fat Quarter Shop was very sweet and sent me an extra copy so we could have a giveaway. So you guys know I love the quilts in here. The baklava quilt that um, everybody was talking about earlier is right here and it's actually made up in the book in Sweet Acres Fabrics. Look how sweet this is. Isn't that a great quilt? It's so simple and pretty. I can't wait to make that one. And there's just so many good quilts in here. Fakasha, um, this, oh, this one is another like scrappy one. Look at this cornbread quilt. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know. There's so many good. Oh, Deborah says the books in her shop are autographed. Okay. If you want an autographed copy, go visit Amanda. Thanks for that tip, Deborah. <laughs> so for last week, our giveaway was simply jelly rolls, but I can't just give you a book, right? So I have for you two jelly rolls. These aren't jelly rolls, they're roly polies. <laughs> Same thing, just Riley Blake's terms is uh, roly poly. So I have a haunted adventure roly poly for you. Cute haunted adventure fabrics. And I have a sweet acres one. So you can make the baklava quilt if you would like. 
And our winner from last week is Wanda Hall, 7623. Wanda, send me an email, bev at flamingotoes.com, and I will get your prize right out to you. And um, congratulations, Wanda. <laughs> And I had to do something equally fun for this last week of our sew along. So I will send you a copy of more playful pre-cut quilts. And uh, you can't have this one because this one's mine. It's autographed from Amanda to me. <laughs> but I'm gonna send you one straight from uh, the place to order it. But I can't just send you off with nothing So to sew, right? So I have for you a 10 inch stacker of Shades of Autumn. This is my favorite collection other than my own <laughs> for fall. So if you can't sew with Haunted Adventure, I love Shades of Autumn. You guys look at the fabrics here. So lots of oranges and browns, but there's also this really soft like sage green. It's a little bit hard to tell. There's pumpkins, there's a really cute text print. These plaids are amazing. And then just gorgeous florals and maple leaves. So this is by My Mind's Eye, and it's called Shades of Autumn. It's a beautiful thing. And because it's our last week, and because I love you, you get two 10-inch stackers. Yuletide Forest is by Catherine Lin Linnaeus. Lin Linnaeus? <laughs> I don't know how to say Catherine's last name. But it is a gorgeous Christmas collection. Look at this, you guys, with these. Um, shades of green and red. There's little deers. There's mushrooms. You guys, I mean, how good is this? I love it. It's so great. And then, of course, this great plaid and stripes. You can't go wrong. And then to help you cut out your blocks, I have a cute cuts from Lori. And this is a six and a half inch ruler. And it's got this great border on it so you can help like with fussy cutting, you know, you know what size your six inch block will be, all of that kind of stuff. So that is this week's prize. Prizes are super easy to uh, win. All you have to do is leave a comment on the video and you can do that whether you're watching right now or whether you're watching later in the week. So really easy and I will announce the winner on, I will comment on the um, winner's comment on YouTube next week. So we won't have a video next week, but I will announce the winner on YouTube by replying to that person's comment. That's the word I want, reply. <laughs> so I hope you guys love this week's prize. Yay, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I love you guys back, so. <laughs> All right. So those are our giveaways for the week. It's going to be really fun, but don't don't not pick up playful pre -cut, more playful pre-cut quilts, which is a little bit hard to say very fast. Um, if you have already won, then I will send you Amanda's first, if you've already purchased it, I will send you Amanda's first book instead. So there's no losing here, right? <laughs> okay, you guys, let's talk about Spooky Lane. Are you ready? Let's talk about what we need to do to finish up our quilts. So by now that you have made all the blocks, and you're ready to either sew them into their rows. If you sew them up, like if you already sewed them into your rows, then you're ready to sew them all together. So first you'll need to sew them into rows if you haven't done that. And your rows should finish at 52 and a half inches unfinished. And we want each of our rows to end up at that width because we want them all to end up the same. <laughs> So if you are measuring your rows and you are finding that they are not 52 and a half inches, but they are all the same, that's okay. Don't change anything. Just cut your sashing pieces, which are the A sashing pieces, cut them at that length, not your, not the 52 and a half inches. If you have a couple rows that are off a little bit and you can trim up the sashing on the sides, do that. If you have one row that's significantly shorter than the other, go ahead and take off the sashing and cut a little bit larger piece of sashing. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to re-sew the row. You're just going to use those sashing, which I've built into all the blocks. You're gonna use those sashing sections to make sure that you, um, that you don't have that all your rows are the same. And so then you will cut your A pieces and B and C pieces that length. 
that your rows are measuring, okay? So that is the biggest thing for getting them all to fit together well, is it doesn't have to be my measurements, but you need to all be in line. So once you have got your rows all sewn together with the sashing between them, then you will sew sashing around the outside, which are the D and E pieces, and then you'll show your print border, which is the F and G pieces. And if you're using directional fabric, like a Haunted Adventure, <laughs> sorry, I know my own fabric collection names, then the fabric that I, the amount that I told you on the back two yards of border will give you enough to do your borders, your F and G pieces, which are your print borders, in directional fabric. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to cut out the side border pieces here along the selvage and you'll cut those out first and then using what's left you will cut out strips of the top and bottom borders and piece them together. So that way your items that are directional all go the same direction. Now if you're not using directional fabrics you don't need to worry about that you will just cut your borders out normally and you know you can cut just regular strips against the width of the fabric and um, or with the width of the fabric and then um, sew them all together just like you would on a normal quilt. But if you're using directional fabrics then the instructions for that are in the book on page 17. Wow, this is a long quilt book. <laughs> um, 17 and yes, 16. So if you are, um, also, before you do your sashing and your borders that go around, always, 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 no matter how well you feel like the quilt is done, always measure your quilt top before cutting those pieces. So it has the cutting measurements at the front before the directions, but it's always a good practice to wait, measure your quilts, and then cut your sashing because you might be off. You've got tons of seams in here and just the slightest measurement difference between your seam allowance and my seam allowance, even if we're sewing with a quarter inch foot, can make it off just a little bit. That doesn't mean it's wrong, that just means that your quilt might be slightly sized differently than mine. So you'll always want to measure before you do your um, cutting of your sashing. When you are measuring your quilt top, never measure the edge like the, the sides or the top and bottom of your quilt top. Always fold your quilt top in half and measure down the center for the length and then fold it in half the other way and measure down the width because that's gonna give you the most accurate measurement for your sashing and then cut your sashing in borders. So what I'm saying is for the length of your quilt, don't measure right here where your pieces all end up but measure from top to bottom down the center and from side to side down the center. The reason for that is you've got all those seams that end on the edge and if you're measuring it's very easy to pull and maybe separate those seams a little bit but also kind of stretch your quilt out. If you're doing the measurement down the center that's going to give you a much more true measurement and a little bit more accurate because you're not stretching and pulling any seams. So. Those are the tips. I'm gonna see if you guys have any questions. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are excited about the thing. Okay. All right, Pamela, she says good tips. That's really all I have for you tip-wise for assembly because we've done all the hard parts, right? We've sewn all the blocks. Now we just need to put them all together in a cute quilt form. So I would absolutely love to see your quilts. You can share them on Instagram with the hashtags that are on the sew along. So it's uh, Spooky Lane Quilt S A L, um, or you can just use hashtag Spooky Lane Quilt. We would love to see that. Or you can join my Facebook group, the Flamingo Toe Stitch and Share Club. It's linked in today's video description, um, and I would love we would all love to see that it's so fun to share photos even if you think your quilting's not perfect or your blocks aren't perfect this is a very loving group so don't be hesitant to share your projects we want to see them and we want to cheer you on um, and I would love for you to like and subscribe if you haven't liked this video or subscribed to my channel I would love for you to do that as well okay so updates coming up I am actually going to Quilt Market this year, which is a trade show event at the end of October. We haven't, um, Riley Blake hasn't had designers come to Quilt Market since before COVID. So this will be the first time I've been able to show a collection at market since 
Singing in the Rain, which was in 2019, y'all. It's so exciting. So I am going to be going to market in Houston at the end of October and showing my fabrics Sweet Freedom. So I'm not gonna have regular videos in October, but when afternoon tea gets here, we will have a Monday video and I will announce in the group when that's gonna be. I just don't know when it's gonna be because I don't know when afternoon tea will arrive. So when it gets here, then we will have a lovely show and tell trunk show with the um, fabrics so you can see everything. There are 24 prints, fabrics in the collection. There is a panel that you guys can check out on my website if you search afternoon tea, or if you just scroll down on the home page past the shop items, you'll be able to see that afternoon tea blog post and it shows you a lot of the panels. We will have um, three new quilts coming out and a very cute template to make one of those quilts. It's super exciting, you guys. Um, I don't know that I'll have all the quilts by the time the trunk show starts because I don't get the fabric super early, um, but I will be able to show you the quilt patterns anyway. And um, we also have a quilt kit coming in November for one of the quilts for afternoon tea. It's called Tea Party and it is full of um, all kinds of really cute teapots and teacups, and um, it, we will do a sew along with that in January. So that's a little ways away. So we will have the afternoon tea trunk show in October, and then I will also, in a couple weeks, have dates for you for our next sew along, which will be a mini quilt from my book, Make It Mini. We are going to do the Home Sweet Home quilts, and I'm gonna do mine in Christmas fabrics, but I just need to play with my dates a little bit to make sure that I have everything ready for market because getting ready for market is a super big job. <laughs> so I will be sewing like the wind here. I don't know, did anybody ever see Three Amigos? I loved Three Amigos, and so when I say sew like the wind, I always think of the scene when the whole entire town is making the costumes to fight, what was his name, El Guapo? I don't know, uh, I think that's it, but anyway. Sewing like the wind here <laughs> to get ready for market. And I will of course have videos for you guys from market. Um, I'll do a live video from my booth so you can see that and then I'll take you all around the Riley Blake booth so you can see everybody else's fabrics too. So it's so fun and so exciting. Oh, and with afternoon tea, we are going to have a whole bunch of cross stitch patterns. You guys, I have been working hard on designs for cross stitch and so for you cross stitchers, Expect to see a lot more exciting things coming in the world of cross stitch from Flamingo Toes. <laughs> okay, you guys, I will um, not see you next Monday, but I want to see all your spooky lane quilts. I will be um, accessible, of course, in the Facebook group and on email if you need anything. If you're stuck on anything with this quilt or anything else, I'm happy to help. I will um, check in with you guys and I'll let you know as soon as I can when that fun afternoon tea video is going to be. And so, um, oh, Pamela says I keep knocking the ball out of the park with fabric designs. Oh, Pamela, love it. Oh, thank you so much. Pamela says she's made different blocks to go into the quilt, so figuring that fit. Oh, I love it, Pamela. I want to see that. Yay. Okay, you guys, have a fabulous week. Hopefully it will cool off a little bit wherever you are. Um, and I have just had a blast sewing up this quilt with you. Thanks so much for tuning in. You guys know I love you. And have a fabulous week. Thanks, everybody. Bye.